artist rose to fame as everyone's favourite saucy man-eating neighbour, Dorian, in Birds of a Feather. Uh, since then, her career has flourished and this feisty lady has established herself as a stage actress in her own right, bearing all in her latest role as Miss October in the hugely successful Calendar Girls stage tour. Please welcome Leslie Joseph. <laughs> Sit down, I just have to say something. Yeah. I've been wearing this, <laughs> said to Colin, I've been wearing this dress, which is a new one, yeah. like this. I've only just realised that these are pockets <laughs> and they should be tucked in. So there's me Thank thinking, it, I know. It's like a bus on. I know. It's a statement. Janet, I am not an unintelligent woman. <laughs> oh, no, but I go out with my clothes on into the out. Do you prefer it like this? Yeah, I think that's I good. Do you prefer it? You could have yeah. got away with that. Are there that? pockets? I had no exactly. idea. I said to Colleen in makeup earlier, I said, I think I've been wearing this inside. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need a pocket for anyway? Well, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Are you really bearing all or just bits? Well, no, well you must know this from Miss Bellingham, because mm. I'm taking a, the part that Linda's doing. No, uh, we did bear all at the photo shoot, and it was the most... Oh. Oh, you see, I always said I will never do it, because, look, these have grown a bit bigger as the years go by, and then when this isn't on, they're sort of down to here now. <laughs> and uh, I've always said, no, nobody wants to see that. And I'm actually now having horror nightmares about people running out the theatre quite Have you seriously. started yet? No, I start next week, and it's that terrible build-up. For the photo, what did you put them behind? Nothing. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, I did put them behind something. But what? A sheet. A sheet? Yeah. I thought you were going to say a pot plant no. for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's it really funny, cos you get about eight women, none of whom have met each other before, <gasps> and you're all standing there... Naked. Oh. And in one way, it's incredibly liberating, and that's what the play is all about. It's about women who took their clothes off or dropped their drawers for art, mm. sounding just a little bit tackier than this. <laughs> but, um, you know, that's what it's all about. And we've all got, you know, bumps and bumps yeah. and all of that that we don't want to see. And it was incredibly liberating. On the other hand, you think... I'm going to be taking my clothes off. Yeah, but you yeah. know what? It's so well done in the play. I've yes, seen it twice yes. now, and yeah. it's so well done because, from the audience point of view, you can tell you're naked, but you don't actually see. You don't actually anything. see it. It's so I know well people done. in the wings do actually stand there saying, "Nipple alert! Do, yeah. Nipple yeah. alert!" <laughs> but they're just because I think that there are people in the wings watching, and they go, "Showing too much, showing nipples," <laughs> and then people either grab something and put it up, or they sort of go. And it was just very funny when we all took our clothes off. Some of us were being really brave and going, oh, "This is absolutely fine." Like, <laughs> just, but I start rehearsing on Monday. Oh. You Not only start rehearsing on yeah, Monday? Yeah, start rehearsing How on Monday. Scary. Then we've got three weeks and then, um, then that's it. we go out on the road for 16 weeks. And you know what? I am so looking forward to it because, oh, look, I've done vagina monologues, so we've done that bit of the body. I've done hot flush, so we've done all of that. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm moving on to Calendar Girls, so there's nothing that the public have yet to see. <laughs> They'll have seen it all. <laughs> It's all Do been people there. Are just, people are coming and just taking off bits that they've already seen. I think seen. so. That, we've done that. No, she's done that. Oh, no, we've seen that one. Go online. Yes, we've seen it. Do you know what my real horror is? Because I think they obviously say... Do I stop talking, Leslie? Shut up. Anyway. Well, that's why you're here. It's good. I know. <laughs> they say, you know, obviously no cameras, but I know that at some point somebody is going to be there either with a video or with a camera taking pictures, and that's my sort of... They will. Dread. You'll be on they Facebook. They will, Colleen, you, you will. know they will. Yeah, next the time bits will be on Facebook. It may, it may be a compliment, depends what they're using it for. So yes, it would be. <laughs> I mean, hidden behind huge cream buns or whatever. I think I'm behind sunflowers. You're going to find some theatres very drafty, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I know that there's going to be out. some people there with the hair dryer, with the wind machine in the wings going like this. <laughs> can, can I just say something about the whole HIV topic? Mm, of course that I think the whole thing about being tested is really good if they, the world at large, like the insurance people and everybody, take away the stigma of it. Yeah. Because you shouldn't be, oh, she's been tested for HIV, does that mean she's more vulnerable? Mm. Therefore, we're not going to give you all the insurance mm. on that. It should be across the board and insurance companies that it's no different to being having a smear test or having any mm. other test. And I think that's the only way that they should do it. No, Otherwise, I, I... it just isn't... Fair. Mm. Absolutely. And I, I can't speak, obviously, categorically on this, but I, I know that was a real sticking point in the 80s, it but I think it has changed now. I think it's much better now. I hope yeah. so. I think they're not allowed to dis discriminate legally. I don't, yeah. I don't think that... 
applies now. But I think, you know, I, I said earlier that looking back, the climate of fear that prevailed oh, with the iceberg ads, I mean, we've just got to put that behind But I us. also think that the stage we are now, and I think it's something you said yeah. earlier, people forget. You know, that's the power of advertising. You have to have, you know, if you're doing a play yeah. and you're out on the road, advertisements, letting people know, doing television, yeah. doing radio stuff. You have to bombard people all the time. And I think people get complacent and they sit back and they sort of forget and, mm. oh, that's something we don't think about that. And then suddenly you get these figures put in front of you and you do actually have to think about what, it. What do you, I mean, we, we touched on as well the fact that there are women who are maybe starting over relationship-wise yeah. who had never seen themselves as perhaps being at risk before. Uh, have you or any of your friends encountered this? Is this something that you've, you've ever given Not really, to? no. But, I mean, I think I'm probably quite free thinking compared yeah. to a lot of my friends trusting. you know trust yes <laughs> trusting but also you yeah. know working in show business you yeah. do tend to talk about things much more yeah. things open up i've got friends who would never discuss any part of their body yeah. you know maybe mummy friends you've grown up with or something sure. that you don't talk about it and that's why i think this should be something completely open i think you're right just include yeah. it as the package when you go yeah. for your mot that's what you have mm. and it doesn't make Which any difference why a program like this is good that we can just yeah. sit and sit the and only problem about it. of that is that if if, God forbid, you had it, mm. that counselling should always be available, you know, if the and end just is just very, very quickly, Leslie, yeah, we're running out of time. No, um, how good are you at, um, you know, when people come up in London and oh! you and what Do you know what? Have you got an exclusion oh! zone? No, they do it to me all the time because of Dorian, so they think <laughs> I could go into a pub and I completely... Free. I'm, they, hello, darling. Love you. Can I give you a kiss? Mm! <laughs> like that. They could have cold sores, which I don't want because I, I'm filming. They could have swine Jesus. flu. Everything. Leslie, best of luck with calendar Thank girls. You. We won't oh. give you a kiss goodbye. We'll just give you a little <laughs> wave. It's Leslie Joseph, everyone.